I'm going to show you how to create a control chart in Excel. Um, I have this data set uh, where I have 18 subgroups and under each of these subgroups I have four observations, four sample taken for each of these subgroups. To create a control chart, first I'm going to do a trial control chart. For the trial control charts, the question I need looks like this. This can be found in any quality control books. These A2, A3, D4, D3, these are all uh, constant values which can be found uh, in the appendix of any control quality control textbooks. The table looks like this. It's called factors, uh, factors for constructing variable control charts. This is from Montgomery Statistical Quality Control Textbook. Uh, A2 value, as you can see, 0 0.729, D30 and D4, 2.282. So these are the values I need for uh, the uh, to create the first uh, control trial control charts. So let's find out these values and type it in our worksheet. So here I got 0 0.729, 0, and then 2.282 is the D3. Now to get all of these, I need X bar, which is the mean of, um, these uh, individual subgroups and then so that's the mean now x bar bar that's the grand mean of all data so we can do average of this column or we can select all of this data either way it's gonna work really don't need so many decimal points so i'm gonna format that this is just for the visual to two decimal points. And then I need the range R value. Uh, range, there is no direct Excel function. So I'm going to do the max minus mean to get the range. Minus mean. And then select that same data set. So that will give me the... should be actually max not mean that's why it's doing that error so max value minus the mean value that is the range now I need R bar so the average for all of these uh, ranges and then you got equal sign and then average of these so like that so that is my r bar i don't need so many decimal points i'm going to format paint that from the other formatted two decimal point formatted cell i just formatted it okay so now i'm going to calculate the upper control limit for x bar the formula for that is equal to the grand mean minus a I'm going to freeze that because I will have to use the same formula for all of this and then use this fixed cell so I'm going to freeze that cell times the range bar this one for the lower control is basically the uh, negative sign in the middle minus a2 times the r bar and then I will have to freeze that A2 again and then that is the lower control limit for X bar and then I'm going to calculate the upper control limit for range to produce the range chart so that is equal to basically the 4 I'm going to freeze that times the uh, R 
bar this one and then lower control limit lower control limit for range is basically uh, d2 d3 I'm going to freeze that f4 times the uh, r bar so these are my control limits okay now i'd like to see visually how they look on a chart so i'm going to plot first x bar r control chart this is called r control chart because as you can see they're based on the range that's why it's called x bar so it's the chart for x but controlled by the range and insert go here do a line chart like that so this is the trial control chart so I'm going to name that title that this way basically we have the mean of the subgroups and then this side we have the subgroups And then the chart title, I would like to call this at X bar R control trial chart. As you can see, these are the, the control limits. Well, it looks like one of the control limit was not lower control upper control looking same which i don't like it why they're looking same let's see oh because this one was used negative two so that's all right now it fixed so this one the top on is basically this is the upper control limit for the x bar and then the yellow one is the lower control limit for x bar and then the orange one is the grand mean so i'm expecting most data falls around that line not deviating like that or deviating like this and these blue lines let me format this axis so we can see a little bit better none of this starting before 3 30 so as you can see now it's um, this one is out of my lower control limit and this one is out of my upper control limit so this is the trial control chart based on uh, our uh, range so that's it about the trial control chart our control chart we in the next videos we'll show you how to produce a revised our control chart